the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and we will renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who instructs your faithful with the light of your Holy Spirit. Make us responsive to his inspirations, so may truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue with our meditations by looking at Mary as our treasury. We listen to the words of the sixth chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. What was Mary's treasure? What did she keep in pondering her heart? It was Jesus. Mary is the Ark of the Covenant that held Jesus for nine months. That should make Mary not just a treasure, but our treasury. We ask to be containers of the treasure that is Jesus Christ, as Mary was. And that means that Mary becomes, in a certain sense, the model for receiving Christ. And how did she receive Christ? She received Christ with an undivided heart. And that is precisely what we ask for today, for the grace to see Mary as the, our treasury and Christ as the treasure that she contains, and to allow her to, through imitation of her virtues, to allow her to pour into us the treasure, which is Jesus Christ. She is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Spirit acts, she is in union with the Holy Spirit. If we want to see the Holy Spirit acting, we do well to look to Mary, who is the spouse of the Holy Ghost. Let us pray, O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in your servant, in the spirit of your holiness and the fullness of your gifts the perfection of your ways and the truth of your virtues and the communion of your mysteries. So do within me the power of flesh and demon by your Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Father Mary, we turn to you, spouse of the Spirit and treasury of Jesus Christ. We ask that through your intercession, God might grant us to have those dispositions that are utterly open to his will. We ask this through your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.